Welcome to this uh, very special Easter Sunday G.I. Joe toy review. <coughs> we are concluding Women's Month today on Easter with our weekly uh, issue of Black Arachnia and our special Easter holiday specials of Air Razor and our G.I. Joe presentation right here of Lady J, the retro line Lady J. And being that this is a East, Easter Sunday is a special holiday presentation, we're not doing the shout-outs of the week. So we're going to start with uh, her file card where it says Lady J. With a picture of Lady J with the G.I. Joe uh, signing right there, which is her group. And it says, uh, and of course, all retro line has the enlarged file cards with like five different languages. So we're going to do English. Sorry for the the um, blurriness, but it says Hart Barnett Allison R. Role, covert operations. Primary specialty, intelligence. Secondary specialty is personnel clerk. Birthplace is Martha's Vineyard, Mass. And the text reads, an accomplished actress in mind, as well as a steady linguist, she can easily pass as a native in many countries around the world. So that I mean that's pretty much it for her file card. But uh, does it doesn't say much, but it says a lot at the same time. And being that she can fit in as a native in many countries, that means that uh, Lady J can speak many languages. But uh, more on her character later. But we're going to look at her dress, her accessories. Her figure stand, upraised G.I. Joe logo, Lady J on the front. And she also comes with her power javelin. And then, of course, this is how the figure kind of looked like back when I was a kid, but with a rubber O-ring at the waist. But she did have the trademark black hat with her hair, you know, and the green jumpsuit with the black gloves and black boots. You know, but the articulation wise on this one is her head can rotate to 360. Has some, has very little up and down. Her arm can raise to the side as such, about that high. Can rotate off a full 360 all the way around. She can bend at the elbow once I can get it to the right spot. But she can bend at the elbow. Kind of tough, but. Mm. Let me see how the other elbow works with it. The other elbow can. It's kind of tight and snug. But this elbow does bend. You know, and she has the. Where it can rotate. A full 360 all the way around. Like I said, it's kind of tight and snug, but it's all good. And her wrist is articulated, both, both wrists. And she does have the, well, she can actually double hinge in a way, but she also has the ab crush feature. And she also came with this web gearing, but I don't like to display it with the web gearing because I don't really like it. But, uh, so her legs can, on a T-hook, which can actually wish she can do al almost complete splits. So her leg can live to about here. Double knee joint at the knee. And uh, her ankle can pivot as well as rotate. A full 360, you know, which just gives you good posing for this figure. So all the articulation is good for good posing. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at her and her rope and her uh, all geared up. So here's Lady J in her full battle gear. Well, except for the web gear because, I, like I said, I don't like to display her with it. But uh, here's her with her power javelin, holding her power javelin, ready to a. Uh, Javel some Cobras. You know, she's a good figure, good looking figure. Uh, very reminiscent of her, her uh, vintage figure from back in the 80s. 
But like I said, if she doesn't have that rubber O-ring in a... You know, I could do without the hat. <coughs> like I did at the beginning of Women's Month, you know, with the Lady J without the hat. That's the way I remember her from the cartoon. You know, I've seen her in the comic books, but I don't recall if she had the ball cap on or not. You know, correct me in the comment section below. I might have to double check to find out. But uh, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comment sections below to let me know. But this is a good figure. You know, I claim Lady J is a top tier figure. She's a top tier character. She's very prominent in both the Sunbow and the Deke series. And she was also in Renegades. So she goes along with, uh, with Scarlet and the Baroness by appearing in all three Deke, Deke Sunbow, and um, Renegades lineup. So. They got a good uh, representation there. Ah, snapping turtles. But uh, Daddy J is a very good figure. I like the her, I like her mold. I like her character. Tough as nails, but she cannot. She's also uh, into her doing her thing. And of course, he was romantically linked to Flint, Flint in the Deke series, or not the Deke series, but Sunbow, as well as the comic. So I can see that working out very well. But this has been Lady J. Thank you for a great women's month and I'll uh, see you in the see you in the next one. Peace.